There you go. <laughs> Remember those scenes all too well. Well, as you yes. can see, Ruth is here with us. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's astonishing to think, actually, that you came straight out of drama school and into that role. Just, just trace, trace back the steps then. How did that all come about? Um, well, I left drama school in the summer before, and I'd done um, a series, a comedy series called Suburban Shootout uh, on Channel 5, which was a completely different role. It was sort of a uh, strumpet, really wearing next to nothing after all the men <laughs> with lots of makeup um, and so I thought there's no way I'm gonna get Jane Eyre which is a completely different role but they uh, I think they did a sort of fairly big audition they auditioned sort of anyone really or everyone and anyone um, and they were looking for a newcomer well, they could afford to have one and uh, I got the role I did two auditions and got the role so how I was you, overjoyed. How did yeah. you prepare then going from strumpet to <laughs> yeah, well, it's easy for me not to be the strumpet than it is to be the strumpet, I think. Um, to be the plane and uh, just putting your hair in a bun and feeling sort of a bit normal. But, yeah, I, I, it not, there was a lot of... Reading the book became my Bible and working out... Because in the book, you, you're, as the reader, you're the confidant of Jane. You know all her thoughts, what's going on. Um, when you adapt that onto TV or film, it's very hard to get that across because she doesn't say much and actually it's everything that's going on inside that's important. And presumably you must have been the envy, if not very jealous, yes. drama student pal yeah. because it, notoriously they spend years and years, you know, doing little commercials yeah. here and there and trying to make do and then bingo, you've got the big well, one. We were told at drama school it's not going to be as you think, your dream's not going to come true. It's almost, they prepared us for the worst and uh, never prepared us for the for something like that. So I was just, um, took it all in my stride and just tried to get on with it. Yeah, but friends are uh, jealous or bitter. <laughs> yeah, bitter. Bitter. Angry. angry. I have Violent. no friends left. Bring, <laughs> I have yeah, no bring friends. you back down to yes. earth. What about your family? What was their reaction? Oh, they're overjoyed, very proud. And um, mum's made me a little sort of scrapbook of everything that's come out. and. Um, yeah, they're, they're, I love seeing them so happy with it and watching it and uh, telling all their friends. It's great. Yeah. And how does it work with the, the calls? Because you hear these wonderful stories about people doing something that gets them some publicity. Yeah. Suddenly the calls start coming in and you get offers. Is, has it yeah. worked for you like that? It's, I've had a few, I've, basically, it's opened up doors for me. Um, I go to auditions I would have never gone to before. Uh, people see you in a different light because you've proved yourself on a level. Um, and yeah, I've I've sort of had theatre uh, theatre um, offers, and um, it's it's about choice though. It's picking the best thing now and and picking Oh, now you're way. getting picky. Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm getting how picky. They I know, I know. It's important for you to then make the I right the choice next. Yeah. I mean, do you know? Is it is it instinct when you look at a script? I mean, it's, it's so hard because obviously, as well, you have that you have that thing of I've just come out of drama school. I should take everything I'm given. Yeah. You still have that mentality that. Um, you're just fresh and new and ah, it works work but at the same point I've realized that I know what work I like doing and what I'm good in if you do good work you'll be good in it in a way mm. if you if the scripts are bad then the likelihood is you'll probably do it badly as well but we've, it's, it's we've got a clip that we can show now for those okay. people who maybe didn't see you doing your good work so this is a clip uh, with you and Toby Stevens I believe so yeah. let's have a look now It is Jane. It is me, sir. I'm come back. That's wonderful to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> you, when you film things, you've, you know what you're going through in each scene, and it just brings back memories of what happened. Um, but that was our very last shot we did of the whole thing. And so it was quite emotionally charged anyway, because everyone in the whole crew and set knew that was our last. Was there a little tear in your eye watching it back then? Yeah, a little bit. I thought you were going yeah, a little like, oh. bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the music. It just brings up emotion. It does it. Well, you moved on to very different things. We talked about your work. What are you up to next? Where will we see yeah, you? Yeah, I've just um, filmed um, Stephen Polyakov drama with Maggie Smith and David Williams. Um, I play the younger, not Maggie Smith, but her character. Um, very intriguing, as all his dramas are. Um, yeah. Fascinating. Really fantastic um, experience really working with him because he's, he's, he's 
sort of a genius, really. Yeah, so. And great people to work with. Yeah, yeah I mean, Maggie Smith, amazing. And it's Toby's mum. It's a bit incestuous, really. But. <laughs> well, we look forward to, uh, to having you back on the sofa to talk yeah. us, uh, through that. But in the meantime, lovely to see you. Thank you, you too. Nice to see you. Coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Right, also coming up on Breakfast, then, does motherhood, well, speaking of mothers, put you in the mood for dressing. dancing? Bernie Nolan's here to tell us about her new stage play, about the joys of being a mum. About first, it's time to...